so guys i've brought the battery to my office you can see this is two units of 200 amps 12 volt batteries connected in series i don't have much load here yet but i'll be using this one horsepower ac this one horsepower ac this is smart inverter horsepower ac but it will be working as normal ac i'll not put it in the power saver so that it will consume at least 700 watt plus this light you are seeing and this light might consume about maybe 15 to 30 watt that would be like 700 plus watt now before i power the ac on and power this light on i'll check the voltage on the battery that means the battery volt connected in series then after applying the load will not check the voltage drop and also will check the amount of current that is being drained from the battery and how much energy is going to uh, the AC. So let's check the voltage out. So I've set my meter to voltage. I'll be checking the voltage of these two batteries connected in series. That's without load. Then I'll check it later after we apply load. Now the inverter is on, but I have not powered up the house and I have not powered up. So you see, this light is even off. I've not powered up. So let's see how much voltage these two batteries are giving us. Let me show you before. Okay. Yeah. So this is the first. Sorry. So, see? So the batteries, the batteries are giving about about 26.1 volts. That's like 13.05 on each battery now let's check the amount of current that the inverter alone is pulling there is pulling before we apply the issue so apply load on it now i'll check the amount of current flowing through now so the inverter is consuming about 2. Point, you know 2 amps or 2.0 amps without load this is what the inverter is this ac as our load this ac should consume at least 600 watt or 600 plus watt because it's a one horsepower i'll power up the office and here is my remote um i think 16 is the highest that's the the highest cooling temperature i don't know how to put it easy people you understand so let me put it on now okay okay so the ac is on you can see the AC is on. So let's see how much energy now. Let's see how much energy the inverter will be consuming or the AC will be consuming. But first, let's check the voltage. Let's check the battery voltage, the, the voltage drop. You know, initially it was 26.0. So now the two batteries are giving out 25 point. That's like 12 point. That's, that's uh, uh, 12.9 volts, yes. Each one is pulling out or is giving out around 12.9 volt and uh, we'll be checking the amount of current now that the inverter is pulling since we have applied load on it initially the inverter was consuming just two amps so now with load on it let's see how much energy will be going out from the battery bank so you can see now we have about 27 point something amps right so um what we'll be doing right now is just to minus that two amps which the inverter was consuming initially so you can do the uh, mathematics since I'm the one holding the phone doing the record. I cannot use calculator. We have about 28 amps going to the inverter. That's from the battery bank. So if you minus two, the AC and this light is consuming about 26 amps from the battery bank. So let's check the inverter screen to see how much energy or how much load we are consuming. So you can see it's showing 33 amps. That's different from what my meter was showing. 18 percent load. That's 664 watts. So presently we are consuming 664 watts. That's like 300 plus from this, 300 plus from these batteries. Batteries are connected in series, working together. So let's say we started this test. So let's say we started this test around 12:36 p.m. So I'll be here for some time to see when the system will go off. Right? Then I'll do another video. This is like a live video. And I didn't edit it in my in my phone. It's just directly to TikTok.